This rocket balloon helps us to understand energy conversions and Newton's third law. Now, Newton's third law is often considered very difficult to understand. So let's use this simple demonstration to help us to understand this important concept. So you can see here we have a string that's held taut. And then I've put a straw through that. And here I've got some sticky tape all ready to take the balloon. So now when I blow the balloon up, I give the balloon energy. And that energy gets stored in the balloon in the form of elastic potential energy. Now, I'm going to connect this balloon onto our guidance system. And then when I let it go, that stored elastic potential energy is going to be converted into kinetic energy. Let's watch. If you do this at home with a really long piece of string, then you'll also see how the balloon slows down. And that's because the kinetic energy is being converted into heat and sound energy. And that's slowing down the balloon until it doesn't have any more kinetic energy. So you can see that we can use energy conversion to explain what's happening here. But we can also use Newton's third law. How? Newton's third law states that when one body exerts a force on another body, then that other body exerts an equal but opposite force back on the first body. So how does Newton's third law apply to this balloon? Let's call the balloon wall body one. And the gas that I've put into the balloon body two. So when the balloon, body one, exerts a force onto the gas, body two, then it accelerates that gas out the back of the balloon. But now that gas, being body two, exerts an equal but opposite force on body one, on the balloon, forcing the balloon in the opposite direction to the gas. Of course, it's much more complex when you don't have the guidance system so that the forces are not, you know, in the line. But let's keep it simple and let's keep it in the line. The balloon is forced that way. The gas is forced that way. But notice those two forces can't cancel one another out for us to say, well, everything's in equilibrium. Why not? Because they act on different bodies. And each force affects only the body that it acts on. So the balloon forces the gas that way. That makes the gas accelerate that way. It has no effect directly on the balloon. The gas forces the balloon that way. That accelerates the balloon that way. It has no direct effect on the gas. So the two forces in an action-reaction Newton three pair act on different bodies so they cannot cancel one another's effects out. And this is the same principle that real rockets operate on. The rocket pushes the rocket fuel out and so the rocket fuel pushes the rocket in the opposite direction. Some people mistakenly think that the reason why that works is because the rocket fuel is pushing against the air and then the air of the surroundings is pushing the rocket up. Now, obviously, that wouldn't work out in space because there isn't any air there. Newton's third law doesn't require some kind of resistive medium like air resistance or a surface to work. Or people might see this great launch of a rocket and see that the rocket fuel is pushing down seemingly on the ground, and that's why the rocket goes up. Again, no resistive medium needed for Newton's third law to work. So Newton's third law is really simple. It simply means you can't touch without being touched. But yet people find Newton's third law very difficult to understand. And why is that? I think a lot of the problem is because of friction. You see, we live every day with friction, but we are often not consciously aware of its effect. And that causes us to misunderstand a lot of mechanics. Let me explain. So, for example, if I take this ball and I throw it, 
it's very easy to understand that I exerted a force on the ball. Why? Because the ball accelerated in the direction in which I exerted that force. It's less easy to understand that that ball exerted exactly the same magnitude of force in the opposite direction on me. Why is that so difficult to understand? Well, because I didn't go accelerating in that opposite direction. I stayed just where I was. But that wasn't because the ball did not exert a force on me. It did. But at the same time, friction between my feet and the ground exerted a force opposite to the force that the ball exerted on me. And both of those forces were acting on me, so they both affected me, cancelling one another out, keeping me in equilibrium. But if I'd been in outer space where there isn't friction, then I would have accelerated the other way as soon as I threw the ball. And we can't really blame one another for not understanding this so well, because even the astronauts didn't understand it fully. For example, when Gene Cernan executed one of the first ever spacewalks during the Gemini 9 mission, he had such a lot of difficulty because of Newton's third law that when he got back into the space vessel, he took off his boots and he could actually pour sweat out of the boots because of the difficulty that he'd had. Because you see, at that time, people hadn't appreciated the importance of Newton's third law enough to put in enough hand holds on the outside of the space vessel so that the astronauts could hold on to them as soon as they were pushed. Because every time you push anything, you get accelerated back the other direction in space because there's no resisting force. So you better hold on to something to stop yourself from flying in that direction that you've just been pushed. And if you think about that, that really makes one marvel at Isaac Newton's genius because he proposed this third law way back in 1686, which was obviously long before any space travel was done, where friction is absent and so Newton's third law is so very obvious. But don't worry, Newton's third law is important even if you're going to stay down on earth because it's important for us to understand any interaction because every single time that a force acts, there's a, a coupling force, a reaction force in the equal but opposite direction because of Newton's third law, even here on earth. If you found this movie helpful, like and subscribe. And visit my website, www.angelistot.co.za.